Hey, hello, welcome back. So in our uh, last tutorial, we have seen how to create or display the Google Maps in Android Kotlin. So uh, as you can see, this is was the output of our last tutorial. It shows the world map in our Google Android app, right? So in our today's tutorial, we are going to track our current location in Google Maps. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So as you can see, let's I'll give you a short uh, uh, short explanation how I displayed the Google Map, right? So we had we had extended the class called as on map ready callback, and after that we had created a map view inside our XML file here inside our card view, and after that we had uh, called this method to ask the permission to the user for the find and the course location. Now once we had done that, we had passed the bundle value that is this uh, to our Google Map and uh, uh, and created the Google Map and uh, sync or that is refresh our Google Map. So we displayed the Google Map onto our Android app. So it looks some uh, uh, something blur, little bit blur, but for now just ignore this. Uh, it will work fine in your mobile phone. It is because of my this uh, Razer software. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, track the current location, right? So just go to your ask permission option. From here, uh, we will call the method that is get current location. Uh, okay. So I will use the on screen keyboard. So get current location, and we need to create this method. So I'll enter and create the function. So as you can see, uh, once the permission has been granted to our Android app, we'll call this method and in this method we are going to track our current location. So before that we'll need and two variables here uh, which we'll use to track the current location. We'll declare them at the top. So first one is a default zoom that is uh, the uh, if we track the current location on the Google map, the, we need to assign the zoom value that the Google map, how much the Google map should be zoom, right? So I have given it as a 15f text float value of default zoom. And the second variable is fuse location to a wider client. So to track the current location, we need to we need this class fuse location provider client. So for now I have declared this. Now let's uh, add our functionality into this method. So let's come back to here and I'll just copy it from here and I'll show you how it works. So I pasted it here and let's import the location services. So basically this fuse location provider client is the uh, is the member of the location services class. So this uh, gives us the access to the location services of our smartphone that is GPS services right. And after that I had uh, used the try and catch block. <coughs> So if uh, some exception occurs, uh, it should not crash our application. So that's the reason I had put here, try and catch block. And inside that I had uh, called the method is known as uh, get last location. So the fuse uh, location provider client, that is the uh, function of our location services, uh, keeps track on our current location as well as the last location, the previous location we were on, right? So we can get the last location into our location variable after that once we get the last location we can call the on complete listener and the on complete listener will track the current location depends on our last location right so let me import this on yeah so now uh, on in on complete listener if it is successful which means that we have successfully got our current location and if it is uh, if it comes to else which is which means it is not successful uh, which means it has failed to date the current location so if it fails to get the current location what we'll do is uh, it means that we don't have the permission to access the current location or maybe it's because of your city gps problem so what we'll do is if our smartphone fails to get the current location we call the uh, permission method from here and if we get the current location at that time what we'll do is we'll create the new variable which is current location variable and this p0 let's rename it as lock and this variable contains our longitude and latitude of our current location 
so we had took the location from this variable and we had put it into our current location now let's check if it is null or not if it is not null at that time we need to uh, move the our map to our current location or we need to zoom in the map to our current location so to zoom in our map we have created a different variable in here a, a different function here that is now called as move camera i have called it from here and we need to pass the longitude and latitude of our current location so uh, the uh, so this uh, the location contains the lat long method which contains the current location so the, this lat long is the default method inside this we will pass the latitude and longitude which we have in this current location variable so we had passed both the parameters here and in comma we need to pass how much our map should be zoom in while our current location has been located so we had declared here the uh, as 15 app the same variable we'll use here which means that the 15 float value will be the zoom in value of our google map so once we call this method here uh, we got here left and long as well as the zoom in value right so the m map which is variable of our google map right it appears as you can see we did it in the last tutorial if you have not watched our last video the link in the description so please go and watch that video so the uh, google map variable dot move camera the move camera will perform the zoom in uh, thing to your current location and to zoom in we need 10 camera update factory so the alt enter and the camera update factory we need to pass the location and the zoom value which we got from our previous method here right so this is the only thing which we need to do to track our current location so what we'll do is uh, we need to call this method from here and we uh, will also call it from okay not let's uh, uh, we'll call it from here that is ask gallery permission so what will uh, now let's rename it it's not a gallery permission it's uh, just a permission ask permission location uh, okay let's rename this method yeah so uh yeah from here as well so uh what it will do is it will first ask for a permission once the permission has been granted it will go to a location method and here it will track our current location and once the, we got the location it will move camera to that location now let's run the program and see whether it gives us the expected output or not now here my phone is little bit blurred, it shows the map little bit blurred but it's because of my software that I am using to display, uh, to uh, sync my mobile phone because I am not having the emulator but it will work fine in your uh, mobile phone or emulator. So as you can see this Gondheimer is my current location and it shows the blue dot on my current location and if I, I can zoom in or zoom out by in this way this google map and i can navigate to my other areas nearby me right or more i can zoom out and if you see here i am out of india here still it shows my blue mark that is my current location and at the top right corner you can see the icon which is the current location tracker icon if i click on that icon it will navigate to my current location right wherever i am on the map it will navigate to my current location let's say i am out of this uh, google map let's say i am here and if i click on that button it will take me back to my current location so yes uh, in this way you can track your current location and in our next tutorial we'll see how to uh, fetch the full address from your uh, this current location you can uh, detect the full address of your with the state name and city name and the line number and everything you can track that and display it in text view as well as we'll see how to navigate from one address to another uh, to the particular user same like as ola or Uber. so hope you like this uh, google maps web series and thanks for watching